What's up bros? Welcome to another BroGraph tutorial. I'm Dave Koss and today we're going to be talking about something very simple but it's something that not everybody knows about. It's creating gobos for lights and uh, some people refer to them as cookies. Uh, I guess it depends on what industry or uh, what part of video you're in. Um, I'm going to create a new project with uh, standard 1920 by 1080 workspace and I'm going to create a plane blow it up a little bit with a simple cube on top and shrink it down a little bit and that's really all the modeling we have to do for this I just wanted to explain if you didn't know which this was news to me when I found out for the first time you can use textures to create gobos on lights so I'm gonna to move to Photoshop and make a new blank canvas 2000 by 2000 with 200 resolution um, that's probably a little bit overkill but that's fine now down here in shapes you need to take the polygon tool and then I'm gonna do five sides and under this little gear right here you can check mark this box called star and then you tell it to indent the sides of the star I put 53 percent because it gives me the the straight um, lines across the top of my star. If you click somewhere near the middle and drag and also hold down shift so it locks in kind of locks in place you will get a nice looking star and if you command click on the layer over here on the right it selects just the star and when you go up to um, image and hit crop it centers it up real nice. So I'm going to hit Command D, which will deselect it. I'm going to save it, and this is going to become a texture for my gobo on my light. Um, in my project file, in my textures folder, I'm going to call this star. And if I switch back over to Cinema 4D, I can create a spotlight. I'm going to have this spotlight kind of wide here and I'm going to aim it down at my cube. Other thing I'm going to do is click on the shadow tab of my light and I'm going to turn on shadows because shadows are not on by default. There we go. Up here too, um, I'm going to go to options. I have enhanced OpenGL on but I'm also going to turn on shadows that's something nice to have um, if your video card supports it because um, you can really get your shadows where you want them without having to to render so I've got this here and now I'm gonna double click down here in my textures to create a new texture and under basic the basic tab on top I'm gonna turn on alpha and that's all we're working with here when you click on these three dots you can select what uh, what uh, Photoshop file or bitmap or whatever you're going to use Targa file um, where did I just save that okay texture file texture folder star dot PSD now the Photoshop file will have an automatic um, alpha in it so we don't have to worry about that and you'll notice that it's created the outline of the star. Now if you were doing an actual gobo you would want the star part as the cutout if you're physically doing that in the real world and putting that on a light. So I'm going to invert this you can see now that's correct that's kind of what a gobo I guess would look like. I'm going to take the texture now and I'm going to drag it onto the light and when I do that and I hit render it's a little bit obscure and that's because just like with uh, objects we have to set the projection mode uh, so with this tag this material tag on the light selected I'm gonna go down here to my projection and I'm gonna tell it to do flat because that's probably the easiest way to go right now and at this angle it's gonna be probably about a one to two type ratio so if you go um, 100 over 50 it doesn't even look like enough either you'll notice that you, you actually start to see the stars in the correct format 
And this is this is affected by the angle of the light. So you kind of get it where you want it. And I'm going to turn off tile because I only want one star on the whole thing. So when I turn that off, you can see it kind of disappears. I'll have to readjust my light to find that one star. All right. Bring back up. There we go. It was one. To, there we go. All right. That was right. 100 by 50. See, it's affected by the angle. So when I hit render, you see that star light coming out of there. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna aim it at the box so you can see what's going on here. There we go. Now I'd actually like to have that a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna double this. I'm gonna go 200 by 100. There we go. So now I have a moving gobo. And if I render this out, you, you know, a, the star could, uh, I could keyframe the light and I could make the star go across stuff, you know, kind of stuff you see at concerts and stuff. But here's what else you can do with this. Instead of making your own texture in Photoshop, you have tons of control over what you can do with textures in Cinema. So I'm actually going to create a new material down here. And in this case, let's see, I'm going to go with tiles. I'm going to say I want to create tiles. And we're going to mimic the effects of blinds, uh, open blinds coming through a window. So if I click on those tiles there, I've got grout color, tile color, all this. We're not using a lot of this because uh, we're making blinds. I'm going to go with a uh, white grout color. And then I'm going to make everything else black because we're really, we really only care about these lines. And on the U scale, if I stretch it out, you can see that I have lines going all the way up. And then I have I've left one going down because that could be like a little string that goes down on some blinds. And then on my grout width, I'm going to put zero. I'm going to bring up my bevel width. Not sure where I want it. Uh, I'm gonna say 30. And I realize I make a, made a stupid mistake. I put the texture on color, which is not correct. <laughs> the texture, you can copy and paste these. I'm gonna copy this texture. I need to put it into uh, an alpha channel or else that's never gonna work. There we go. And now when I render, I've got these nice little lines going through here. So if I kind of turn it just a little bit, it kind of has a, a cool slanty effect because your, your window is usually going to be kind of off to the side and your sun or whatever light source is coming through is going to kind of be, in an, going to be at an angle. So you can see what that does there. That creates a nice little, uh, I guess this is a better example of what people would consider a cookie rather than a gobo. So there you go. There's some blinds coming through the window right there. Um, it's very simple, but it's something that not a lot of people think about. And um, I never really thought about it until I needed it. And I was like, wait a minute, how can I do this without creating like a separate plane that goes in front of my light and all of that? And it's, it's easy. You just apply a material with um, an alpha channel onto a light. And that's basically it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. If you would like to find more tutorials from, from BroGraph, you can go to BroGraph.com. You can subscribe to our newsletter, which we send out every once in a while. We won't bug you too much. You can also uh, like us on Facebook. You can get information about our tutorials there and on Twitter and just about any other social thing you can think of. Uh, of course, we're on Reddit and the subreddit Cinema4D, hanging out there sometimes. So that's about it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I'm Dave Koss, and see you later. It's pretty good, I guess. <laughs>